It's David here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you how Site3D sets the cover levels for manholes. So you can see down here we have a manhole underneath the road and on the 3D view you can see its cover level is set to the surface of that road. Site3D does this by default and will set the cover level to the design item surface that it is beneath. So in the case of the road or the footway or a driveway or other design surfaces, it will use the cover level of the design item. In the case where you are putting uh, manholes in, say, the back gardens or in green areas in between design items, Site3D will use the final surface, the surface that is interpolated between all of the different design items for the cover level. If there is no final surface, it will use the existing ground surface in preference. But in this case, I actually have a final surface between all these items. It's just turned off in a 3D view at the moment, but I'm going to put on some manholes in the back gardens for sort of plot drainage for, uh, just to show you. So let's go into the drainage tools. Going to go to new drainage run and put on some manholes. So it's going to connect these up. And you can see that if I connect this one through to the uh, drainage system, you can see on the 3D view, these manholes poke through the existing ground because they are setting their cover level to the final surface. And the reason for this is these buildings, so this building here and this building here, are raised above the existing ground at the moment. And we can show that on the 3D view, if I right click and go to 3D surfaces and turn on the final surface, you can see that the actual cover levels are matching the final surface exactly. So what would happen if we change one of those? Well, we can change the final surface by, say, changing the level of this building here. Let's raise this up a little bit um, because it's uh, a little bit closer to the existing ground here than this one is. So let's raise it up to something the same. So 16.275. Click OK. It has raised up. The final surface has not changed yet. We must update that ourselves. So we're going to go to the surfaces and volumes and click create final surface. And that will recreate the surface. And you can see it's updated it straight away. And the cover level of this manhole and this manhole have updated accordingly. Thanks for watching.